we've all reenacted scenes from the Karate Kid. But the reality of chopping your way through a solid object has been proven to beat even the most hardy of us. Fortunately, weight for weight, bone is many times stronger than concrete. Let's bring on some science to help him. A successful karate chop starts with gaining height over the tiles. Then the whole weight of the body is used, rotating into the direction of the blow extremely quickly. Because momentum is mass times velocity, so you need as much of both as possible. As you strike, it's vital to keep the motion going with a follow-through. This stops the tiles from bouncing back and failing to break. Easy. And once you've mastered that, you can try this. Meet Kevin. He's a grandmaster, 10th Dan, and is smashing his way through 584 bricks in 57.5 seconds. Not only has Kevin got plenty of mass... Sorry, Kevin, I'm not saying you're fat. Wouldn't do that. But by placing the tiles on a solid support, they will receive the full brunt of his force. The impact time of a great chop is five milliseconds. A blink can last more than 20 times longer. So Kevin's obviously blinking fast. But what's key is his technique. It's flawless, unlike our next research assistant. This guy's not going to break any world records with one board. We got uh, the next karate kid. <laughs> Especially if the board is made of thick wood. The chop must have momentum, mass times velocity. That's not enough of either. And remember, experts always follow through. And the faster the strike, the more force can be applied. Just make sure prospective girlfriends are out of the way. 